All right, so I totally remember what I was going to talk about. So I was going to talk about the, um, again, Ramanujan's number, 9 cubed, 10 cubed. So what is a 9 cubed? 9 cubed would be a 9 by 9 by 9, which would be the numbers to make the 9 by 9 reckoner, but actually making a 9-faced Rubik's cube, or a 9 by 9 Rubik's cube by 9. And the 10, to me, would be all the spaces between. The space between I'm Dave Matthews Band. You know, if you're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, you're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 spaces of nothing delimiting the 9. So you can't have the 9 without the 10. So the 10 by 10 of nothing to contain the 9 by 9 by 9 by 10, you know? is important. So it got me thinking of where is the 12 by 12 by 12 and which one by one by one am I looking at? Right? So I also want to talk about the heptacontagon some more. I kind of glazed over the heptacontagon. The heptacontagon is roughly a circle but it's, an, it's a polygon with 70 nodes making segments, which doesn't really make it a circle, but it's pretty, pretty fucking close. Now, a 70 noted circle could be a circled 69, which is, there's two of them, maybe three, uh, but there's two of them for sure. The circled 69, or the, the contained duality, the yin and yang of it all, is the cornerstone <laughs> of the reckoner, it's the last piece put on. It's the top of the arch of the Masonic things, okay? Let's, let's just, I can do that. What's it called? Uh, the cornerstone of the arch, I don't know, let's do 69. Images. There you go. It's kind of what I was looking for. That's not really it. Yeah, Masonic things. Um, very weird that those are the images. Uh, cornerstone, arch, Masonic. I don't know. I've seen it before where the cornerstone of the arch had literally a sideways 69 printed on it. Uh, the things you find once and then can't find again. But anyway, what is all this stuff? Masonic Lodge. The H T W S S T K S H one two three four. Okay, it looks like a compass rose. I don't want to do that right now. But the, that could be a three. That's a five. That's an eight. <laughs> There's your nineteens. You got three nineteens. You got your eleven and your twenty. Your twenty. Your eight. Your twenty-three. Anyway, I don't want to think about that. But. Okay, the cornerstone part of uh, of uh, an arch, the last piece they put in. Let's just say that's the sixty-nine. Okay, circle sixty-nine is a seventy. Heptacontagon has an interior angle of one hundred and seventy-four and six seventh of a degree. I think, or one point seven four. Let's look at that again. So I'm not talking out my ass. Hepta cont hepta cont again. No. Oh, there you go. See, see, it's all part of the it's all part of the Mandrelbrot set. Hmm. Taking zero point energy for something. Look at that. Check out hepta cont again. You get a bunch of Mandrelbolt set stuff. Hmm. Interesting. See, you get the 70, and this, like, half of 70 is 35. Now, there's... Where is it? This, this formula, okay, 174 and 6, 7 degrees with a 5, 1, 7 degree. We talked about this in another thing, but I like this right here. It's kind of interesting, this area equation, which I cannot highlight if I wanted to. There, that. That is kind of interesting. Uh, there's your 70 for your heptagon to go on. This is your 35, like half of 70 over 2. But the half of 70 is 35. You know, you have 36 solenoids in a perfect circle. Again, 
in the center of the energy cell you're going to have five rings with 32 magnets leaving four positions for ball bearings for the axles to turn because 36 would be a perfect circle so the heptagontagon with the circle 35 being a 36 kind of has a relationship between a circle 69 and a circle 35 which could be 36 which could be number of solenoids per wheel we have everything look we have everything we need for the heptagon to gone there you go uh there you go don't save we have everything we need for the heptagon to gone right here. Okay? Remember, come on, undo that. I can't undo that. There. Remember that it's 174 degrees, which is here, but there's two of them. And if you count not the outside of this column. You have one, two, three, four, five, in the sixth and seventh position. It's 174 degrees and six seventh of a degree. So it doesn't get more perfect than this. To, to say that this right here is essentially defining a heptacontagon. Right here. Ugh. These seven cells. Hmm. And then these four over here and two here are talking about pentagon. Okay? Or pentagram. Which is then needed for the great stellated dodecahedron. So if I have a shape here, a shape here, some more shapes here, you know, this is your 70, that's part of it. This is your like 157 or your 5 and 1 7th degree for the heptagontagon, which is here. The exterior angle is 5 and 1 7th degree. You know, there's a lot of things that are like kind of going away. You got your Roman numerals here, which are your 666. Okay, it looks like a circuit diagram. If you, if you start to look at this, you have, again, you have a node here, 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 you have your starting point here, which is your M. Remember, in my, uh, these three right here are skipped in the last image I had. Okay, this one is skipped, and this one is skipped for your three point one. Okay, and then it keeps going. This one is skipped. These uh, is the X skipped? No, X is not skipped. That goes to there. These three are skipped. So this cell is a 1, and this cell is a 3, but together there are 4, so it'll be like 3.14 for pi. If you start from here, going like this to here, to encircle the digital daisy. Ooh, that was a bad leaf. Got your wormhole here for your worms because you can't have plants without worms because you need air in the dirt. And we'll circle that one just for fun. So, I don't know why I did all that, but uh, hopefully it's useful to somebody. Um, again, I have a lot of evidence that the Reckoner is a 9x9x9. Nine by nine by nine. Nothing would be the 10 by 10 by 10 to encapsulate it. 
maybe the whole thing is a 1 cubed and I gotta figure out the 12. You know, I find it interesting that the exit, though, the exit to this, okay, the, the entrance here would be the spade. It's kind of showing you an input here. You're going spade into your club, into your diamond, and then you go down through the heart. Down through the 21. You get out through the 21 here. There's backwards 12. You know, through the butt of the heart. Three and eight. Thirteen and eight is a twenty-one. Anyway, uh Yeah, that's I, that's what I had to talk about, I guess. I, I had to talk about more about heptacontagons and uh great stellated dodecahedrons and why I think the Reckoner is more of a mapping of math of different layers of shapes, like pentag pentagrams and heptacontagons. And I think the whole solution is the great stellated dodecahedron, which encapsulates the solution for an equisahedron, because that's got to be in there, so the equisahedron math has to be in here. Okay, I think now I'm done. I wonder if I can splice these together. Oh, God damn it! No, I probably can't.